This iconic Grumman Widgeon is known for being difficult. Widgeons have a well-known tendency to porpoise during water takeoffs and landings, and many Widgeons have been damaged or destroyed that way since they were originally manufactured in the 1940s. Grumman expert Brian Van Wagnen flies his Super Widgeon from a grass airstrip in Michigan, and he's the sought-after instructor for all the Grumman seabirds, ranging from the sporty Widgeon to the hulking albatross. He says proper training can easily overcome the Widgeon's instability on the water, as he'll demonstrate. Sail around into the wind quite a bit here today. Ready? Ready. Let's feed a little left in just a slight ahead of the right. And then they're both in and here we go. Off the ground, step on the brakes. Up comes the gear. I'm about 85. Well, that just gets right off the off the ground, doesn't oh, it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Put these two 95s on it. It's just a scalded cat. Dry engine. Yeah. All right, so we got the gear up. The wing flaps are up. Boost pumps coming off one at a time, watching the pressure. That holds. Pressure. That holds. Engine instruments are good. Aaron says her engine's not leaking anything, and the left end is not leaking anything. Climb checklist complete. This is a car on a low cruise. I use about 22 inches and 2,600 RPM, so the prop is turning about 18, and uh, it's indicating 135 miles an hour. But right now we got 108 gallons, and we're burning about uh, conservatively 28, but let's just flight plan 30. But it's probably more like 28 at this setting. Right. We'll go down here to Devil's Lake, and it's into the wind today, and plop her down. The landing is really not that tough. What, what bothers the airplane is artificial boat waves and things of that nature that, uh, you know, you can't bring it in and just stall the thing in. It's kind of like coming in for a wheel landing. Well, this is going to be a water landing. Wheels will be up. They're up here. It doesn't indicate up till I throttle back. If you look in the left float, you'll see the tail wheel is up on the mirror there. Yep. And then I can look at the up latches here in the window. So the gear is up for a water landing. That's the main thing that will get you in trouble. All right, we're slowing the airplane to get into the flap range. So we'll come back to about 20 inches. Notice that there's no gear horn or anything to tell you the gear is up. And because uh, it's an amphibian, it's quite happy to land with the gear up. you got you got to figure it out. So I'm, I'm slowing up. I'm going to squeeze a little flap out. We're going to land with 25. There's 20. We'll just hang there for a second. 104 miles per hour is the top of the white arc presumably for 40 degrees of flap. Uh, the mixtures are rich, gas is on, uh, tank to engine, of course, undercarriage is up for water. You can stick your head out the window and look again, it's up. Tops to go, flaps are set. I don't like to do any configuring on final, it should be all done by then. What's our speed? They're doing about 100, but I'm a little fast. I'm going by these waves that are Ricocheting off the left shore a little bit. And what's the wave height like? Oh, uh, it's about a looks like about a foot. A little lumpy. But we'll just slide in on that. Touch down lower the nose about a half inch. And we like to raise the flaps to save them. It's bumpy today a little it's bit. It's lumpy. And we're down. Wow. So you land and you have to keep flying the airplane. You know what I mean? Just right. To a stop. Keep the wings level and all, especially all this wind. It's going to come out of here and probably, I don't know, maybe 200 feet of lake. It's just going to come quick. rocketing out of here. All right. Well, I'm anxious to see that. I'm going to turn the boost pumps off. We'll turn around, taxi back just for the heck of it. What it needs is a little, uh, as it comes up to the top of the hump, it wants to pitch over and start into a porpoise. So what you do, we're going to start to take off with the elevator fully aft, all right? What we're trying to do is get this spray behind these propellers. 
I've got some big spray rails, so the water, the spray really doesn't hurt them much, especially these geared propellers because they're turning slow, unlike the Continental where maybe it's turning 2750, you know. And so we're trying to get this propeller dry, so we're going to hold the elevator all the way back. As soon as these propellers go dry, we're going to release about half of that back pressure. So that when it comes up, climbs up to the hump and gets to the top, I can add a bunch back in to keep it from pitching over until the, the water slides a little further aft on the hull. And then after you count about to three, you could actually let go of the airplane and it would take off. But you just follow it down to the sweet spot. It never needs to be pushed down. That aggravates it. It's got very high mounted engines that are pushing it down. You know what I mean? Sure. It don't need you doing it. And so that's where people get in trouble. They get a little porpoise going and then they get completely out of phase with it. When people fly the airplane that know what they're doing and have been trained right, it doesn't porpoise. And so everybody thinks, well, that ain't a big deal. And that's just a matter of getting the proper training. That's all it is. So are we ready? Ready. We're going to go about half or a little more power to get this nose to come up. And then we're going to get with it here. I'm releasing the back pressure now. Now I'm adding it back in, but I could actually make the thing fly right now. Wow. In, in this wind because it's just... Windy. Yeah, it just, it just, and then, you know, if you really want to get out of somewhere, you can horse the thing and it just gets with these engines on it. But, you know, if you lose one of them, you better be ready to... <laughs> Catch it. All right, so let's back off here. Be kind. That was incredible. That looked like we were going through a car wash. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be longer. <laughs> yeah, the car wash. Yeah, it doesn't need much lake today. No kidding. It's been on that takeoff. Holy cow. That was just uh, <laughs> incredibly short. That's like air cam short. Yeah. Don't blink. That's why I say this is a really cool airplane. Let's go land down here in Stony Lake. So again, we're doing a water landing. Wheels are up. They're latched in the mains and the tail wheel is up. So gump will work. Gas, undercarriage, mixtures, props, right? We got props to go. Put a little bit more flap. You see the gusts of wind coming yeah, out? Yeah, I sure do, yeah. That's a seaplane uh, advantage. All the cat paw in a sailboat world. You can tell when you're going to get smacked here. You watch them and you'll see it. Feel it right there? Whoosh. Now, now the one that's coming, just about time you touch. Right in here. Whoosh. Feel her, and then it dumps you. Let's go through the gap here on the step. What do you say? Flaps coming up to 10. Get around these geese first. That's those snow geese. Snow geese, yep. Get in now. This little lake all the time. Yeah, that it's it's like that's a that looks pretty darn small. It'll get out of there. All right, gears coming out. We're lining up on final at the house. Karen's looking for her down lock out the window by her butt. Mine's down lock. and locked. Got a lock. Tail wheels out. Flaps are set for landing. Gears down for land landing. Parking brake is off. That's an interesting thing that could be on from a water takeoff after you had it beached. And the brakes check. Okay. Yeah, good left crosswind here. So we're gonna, you can see the crab angle we have here. Yep. So we're gonna do that. But we can do it this way. We can take the rudder trim and straighten it out with the rudder trim. And all I gotta do is keep the wing down. The rudder's never going to go away today. Know what I mean? Yep, you're going to hold it the whole time. The rudder trim's holding it. I'm just going to modulate slightly. Not necessary in the widgeon or most airplanes. It's pretty, in a really hard crosswind in the goose, you got both feet on the rudder. It's so heavy. We're landing a little left wheel down here. And the aileron is hard over into the wind now. My feet are centered. Look at the swim sock. It's straight across the runway. Okay. 
I'm not working very hard up here. If I took that aileron yaw out, I would be. It would head for the weeds. That's it. Wow, that's, thanks, thanks so much for the demo. That was the thing of beauty.